earlier that we would show you how, show you how to analyze the gene expression data from your RNA seq pipeline, and here we're going to examine that normalized data uh, that you generated while you're going through the PCA platform, uh, going through the PCA pipeline, not the, the, the data straight out of the RNA RNA seq pipeline. I'm going to go up here, file and import. Normalize data. And one big issue you're going to know is that the, the samples are mixed up together. So you have your, your ER samples and your TN samples all mixed up. So you're going to want to distribute them by cutting and pasting and again so they're grouped together. It's going to make the analysis a lot easier for you. I will go with data. Uh, I've already done this so that I'm not wasting your time shuffling them about. We're going to go to the end. Let's write T test up here and fold diff. So we want to analyze our T test and go to where all the sum is, go down to my more functions. And we're going to search T test there. And we have our first array. Uh, so once you get them properly organized, write down the, the, the ranges of the array. I've already done this. So it's B2 to N2. O, O2 to U2 and it's a two-tailed test and because we have unequal variants here we're going to use type 3. This is all explained in the, in the course in the lesson. Done. So we get we have a t-test value of 0 0.07 not significantly different. We're, we're using 0 0.05 as our, our um, alpha value to, to, to demonstrate significance. And then if you double click that, it'll fill up all the rest of the cells. And then we want to get calculate the fold difference. So we type average. So we want to take the average of the first range the average of the second range. And uh, there's two ways we can pretty much analyze this. So again, we want to have a t-test uh, p, p value of less than 0 0.05. And so here we will just hit filter. I'll take rid of that. We hit filter, and drop that down, and we want it to be less than or equal to 0 0.05. And we'll filter out those that, as you can see, it changed, that have a p-value of less than or equal to 0 0.05. And then we're also interested in having a full difference of, of uh, greater than or equal to 2. So greater than or equal to 2 or less than or equal to negative 2. And so we're at our filter there and want to choose greater than or equal to 2 or less than or equal to negative 2. And that, that's what we see here and, and you can see over here on the left uh, these are the rows of, of genes that have greater or that, that meet these two um, requirements. And so we see that we have a subset of it. And so that's how you would uh, analyze these results uh, using traditional methods.